Okay, I'm back with a, another problem solution video for those of you who own the late 2008 MacBook Aluminum and MacBook Pro Aluminums. Uh, basically, the problem is with SMC fan control. Um, you may have noticed that in the recent months, uh, the default RPM has changed. And, you know, that's really not supposed to do that. It's supposed to only be about 1800 RPM for both notebooks. But for some odd reason, um, on some MacBooks, its minimum speed is 4,900 RPM or 4,000 RPM. And that's extremely high. I mean, it's loud, uh, especially if you do any type of work in the classroom. Um, you know, 4,900 RPM is very audible to the people around you. And although it's keeping your computer cool, I mean, it's a very very loud noise coming from the fans and you know that the previous um, times you've had SMC fan control the default RPM was 1800 and you can adjust it anywhere uh, north of that area but for some reason now it's not. Um, I've tried everything to fix this problem with the SMC fan control but I've honestly done everything uh, I've gone as far as reinstalling OS X. That didn't work. I've gone and tried to change the plist files and change the default RPM back down to the 1800. That didn't work. Um, I've emailed uh, SMC Fan Control and haven't gotten a response back. And I just generally don't know what they're doing. I think it's something to do with the different platform that the newer MacBooks are on and. Um, the current SMC fan control software not being compatible with that. Um, the only logical solution that I found after weeks and weeks of searching for uh, solutions is to just get rid of SMC fan control first of all. Um, you just need to close it out, quit SMC fan control, and download a similar uh, functioning program that doesn't have the same problems. Uh, the program that I downloaded is called Fan Control and you can find that on www.macupdate.com but you can see the website right there. Uh, now when you get in you just want to type in Fan Control and the version you want to download is Fan Control version 1.2 and after you download and install it uh, you want to go to your system preferences and uh, whoops mine is already loaded here but let me go back you want to go to your other uh, category and click on the fan control icon now basically the functionality is similar but a little bit different than SMC fan control but it does work on the aluminum MacBook and MacBook Pros um, basically it gives you three options here it gives you the option to uh, adjust the base fan speed anywhere from 1000 to 3500 rpm uh, depending on what you want um, gives you thresholds uh, basically your lower temperature threshold whichever temperature you set it at that temperature and below will be your base rpm uh, that you set and your upper threshold basically is um, whenever you reach the temperature you set it at it will get towards its maximum RPM of around 5,000 to 6,000 RPMs. It also gives you a temperature readout and um, the current RPM of your fan. Uh, depending on if you have the MacBook you only get the left fan option if you have the MacBook Pro you know you have dual fans so it will give you the left and right fan option which should work in unison. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this program is that the temperature readout of your uh, CPU is only in this program which you have to access and not up in the taskbar like it was previously in SMC fan control but like I said uh, what it lacks in that area it more than makes up for and that it actually works on these newer MacBooks. Now, um, just uh, to give you guys some information, basically, you want your default RPM um, around 1800 to 1900 RPM. 
uh, just so that your processor is not getting hot and your fan is constantly changing RPM. Uh, your lowest threshold should be anywhere from around 110 degrees to 120 degrees. Um, and then your high threshold really should be at that minimum of 158. Because anything over 140 degrees uh, is really hot. I mean, you can literally feel up in the uh, upper left-hand corner where the processor is located on the newer MacBooks. Um, a lot of heat from that area might burn your leg um, and it could damage the system. So about 158 degrees, which is the minimum for that, is when you want your fans to kick in and go to that higher RPM. Um, you know, it does give you the option to go all the way up to 194 degrees, but I really wouldn't recommend that because around 200 degrees, um, you're frying your processor and you will be needing a really major repair to your notebook. Uh, like I said, this is the only solution I could find. It's a pretty good program. Like I said, it only lacks the feature of displaying the temperature on the taskbar up top. But pretty much works the same way SMC fan control works. Um, I can give you a little example here. I'll set my, you can see my RPM is right around 2000 right now. I'll set my base RPM to the maximum of 3500. And I'll set my low threshold to 104 degrees, which is as low as. You should see the RPM rise to around 3500 RPMs. It slowly climbs just like it did in SMC fan control, but it will eventually get there. Still currently rising. And don't worry, 3500 RPM is not the maximum fan speed that it can reach. It can go all the way to 6000 RPM, but it, um, it just variates in between that. Uh, around 130 degrees it will go to around uh, 4000 RPM and then it will keep climbing from there pretty much the same way it did in SMC fan control as you can see it's at 3500 RPM and if I want to change that you see my temperature uh, back to what it was about 115 degrees and the base of 1900 and that's pretty much how it works it's pretty easy to use. Um, it's a great solution to SMC fan control. Uh, you know, I use this a lot when I'm video editing or doing any type of uh, um, anything that requires a lot of uh, processing power. Uh, I basically just uh, use this program so that my computer cools itself uh, more efficiently than the system would cool itself. Simply because the reason I originally downloaded SMC fan control was because I was doing some video editing and my system got all the way up to 180 degrees and the fans were only doing about 3000 RPM which I thought was ridiculous the computer was hot it should have forced the fans into a higher RPM but it didn't so this is a great solution even if you've never heard of SMC fan control you want to download uh, this new program called Fan Control, and again, that's available at www.macupdate.com. You want to enter in the keywords Fan Control. See you guys later. I hope this helped you a lot. I know you've probably been searching around for solutions like I have, and uh, hopefully this helped you. I'll see you guys later.